Our winter weather has now claimed a life in rural Whatcom County. Last night, a snowplow hit and killed a man as it made its daily rounds. The small town of Deming tonight is mourning as the cold reality of this tragedy sets in. King 5's Eric Wilkinson reports. It happened along Highway 9 at milepost 78 around 6 o'clock last night. Something county officials don't believe has ever happened here before. 47-year-old Aaron Cooper, seen here in a Facebook photo, killed by a snowplow as he walked along the side of the pitch black road. And I, I can't tell you what, what it does to a small community when they have something horrible like this happening. There's nothing good about it. It's nothing but tragic. Investigators say Cooper was walking in the same direction as the plow when he was hit from behind. The driver is identified as 56-year-old James Endersby. Public Works Manager Roland Middleton knows Endersby and said he is not one of the new drivers hired to fill a shortage in the county. He's an experienced driver, well-trained. Friends say Aaron Cooper was a member of the Nooksack tribe. His parents honored elders. They say he also leaves behind a brother and sister and a child. It's a rotten way to start the year, that's all I can say. Jeff Margolis watched Cooper grow up. When he would come into the general store, Margolis ran here for decades. You know the community here, and you know that everyone is, is mourning and sad and feeling terrible for the family. This tragedy is felt by everyone involved, and everyone has friends or family that will know other, the people involved. Roland Middleton among them. I didn't actually know it was him until about an hour ago. Um, and I'm still a little shocked myself. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, you know, this is tough. Along with the driver, Middleton also knew Cooper. The two shared a love of blues music and used to chat over beers when a band was in town. Their small town now reeling with Cooper's incomprehensible death. Um, it just seems like, um, we had hoped that 2022 was going to start off better than the last couple of years. And this is a, a really sad way to start off the year. In Deming, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.